Hello, Sarah here back again. It's good to have you back today. Today we're going to talk about the landing pages, as promised. Now why do you need a landing page? I think we all have been on the site where we had to fill in your email address and your name to get to the product or the information that you request. Now that is the landing page. The reason for this landing page is for the person on the other side to collect your email address. Now, if you are the marketer, you have heard about this making money while you sleep, but nobody wants to tell you how to do that. Now, your list is what you need to do that. You need to establish this, and then you do optimization, which I'll get to now, and then you make literally money while you sleep, because while you South Africa, like me, you can sell to people in America while you sleep on your website. But it's not all that simple. You need first to establish trust with people. That you must uh, build a relationship with them, otherwise they're not going to open your emails. So that is why I said last time when we talked about the niche, looking for your niche, that you have to come across as enthusiastic and uh, authoritative about the whatever you are promoting because otherwise people are not going to buy from you and they're not going to follow you because what you want is people to follow you you want them to come back tomorrow to hear what you've got to say so it's important that you don't just write on your blog or on your youtube channel at random items you must make for yourself like a list of 10 things I'm going to do over the never next 10 days and then one lead to the other to the other. Like this series I'm doing now about 7 items that you need to build your internet marketing. If, if you take any one of them at, out, the, the whole system won't be complete and that is the machine that we talk about. So if we have gone through this series, you will be able actually to establish your machine to make money while you sleep. But if you are a newcomer, you're obviously not going to do it in one week. It's a thing that builds over time. So don't have expectations that you're going to press a button and make money while you sleep. That does not exist. It's a lot of work, like you can see, you must make videos, you must write blogs, you must do things on your social media, you must do all this work to set up the landing pages and your click funnels we really will still get to and, and tracking on the click magic we really, we st will still get there as well. So there's a lot of work to get to making money while you sleep. But without a landing page to build your list, you will not even start. So the landing page you can get from a web and from get response where I am. There's many of them, there's a lot of them. But you must be careful because all of them are like extremely sensitive word make money. So when you write your subject lines, when you get your emails while we're on the landing page, you must not come near that word, make money while you sleep, or want to become a millionaire, or anything like that. You must rather say, do you want to build a list? Do you want to go to the next level? Use different words, but don't use those words, because they just kick you off. It will happen on anyone if you use the wrong wording. And also, if you email an um, autoresponder and you just blast everybody with um, emails that's not requesting your emails, you will also be thrown off. So then you'll have to start again. You can write the email to them afterwards and request your, your list, but better is to update it every week. I'm not going to show you how to set up an autoresponder because you go to any autoresponder that you choose, all of them have amazing training and guidance to get started so you just when they say take a tour or book a setting do that so that you can go through the whole process and get all the little secrets that they offer you and you can make use of them but now let's just get to the landing page once you get into your autoresponder you're going to need to to make a landing page because that's where you will click the um, the data, as they will refer to it, the data, which is your list, or the context, and from the context you're going then to remarket afterwards, and that is where the money lies, and the remarketing afterwards. So 
So you build up a list and then you can all the time market new stuff, things progress, new trends come around and you grow and your group grow with you. So you don't have to worry about what are you going to remarket, it will come in time. So you're going to go in there and if you're going to use a landing page for your blog or your web page, you're just going to use form and link to your web page. So you're not literally going to design a landing page but for the purpose of the website or the blog. There is training on that and if you really don't know, you can just ask me and then I'll give you more specific training on that or reference to it. But what we want to go into now is if you're not now going to have click funnels, say you've got a very limited budget and you don't want to also have click funnels where you can design very nice landing pages and have a little bit of a thank you page that you need afterwards because the thank you page is actually the page that the person says, yes, I want to get your newsletter. And the newsletter is now the thing which you send all the time. Don't, don't send people stuff every day because that is irritating. Twice a week, when you, they just got your things, you can do it every day for three, four days and then you go to twice a week or once a week. Say now you've got a limited budget and you must do your landing page insight. What you, don't ask too much information. If you ask too much information, people are not going to fill it in. Ask for a name and an email address and that should be okay. You can ask more stuff, but the, if you're very established and you've got a very popular product and you want to get rid of the people that's just uh, tire kickers, then you, you can use that technique, but not as a beginner. Okay, and then there's things that you must remember. When you now do your landing page, there will be more than enough training inside your autoresponder to teach you how to do that, but the colors and things, if you start to get to colors. Always remember, red and yellow is the best for, um, for your buttons. Your button must be something that people see immediately. So if your whole page is red, it's no use to have a red button because it's just going to get lost then you can use yellow. Or if, you, if you've got a very wide page, red would stand out nice. If you've got a dark page, yellow and red normally work. Just see that it must be a color that stands out from your landing page. It must not be the same as it. And then there's some things to remember about the landing page when you set it up. The wording on your landing page must be similar than that of the page where they're going to. Plus, they came from somewhere when they land on the landing page. An ad, a blog, a, a social page, whatever. The words you use there should be related to the words on the page that they must go to. And the landing page should also reflect on that. So the three things, the advertising, whether it's not free advertising or, or paid advertising, doesn't matter. But where your client get the link from, the landing page and the, the, the final start. The final start is that place where they're going to get, look at the video to see what they're going to buy. Because most place, places use a funnel that go from one to the other, but you can get into that later. It must have the same message. So if you can use the same sort of typing, it would be even better. And the same sort of layout would relate doesn't have to be exactly the same, but the person must know I am on the right place. I have clicked on stuff and then I'm like, what? Where am I now? You don't want that. And if you go to more advanced like click funnels or things, instead of giving a message, you can make a short little video and say, hello, I'm glad to see you here. You are now going to go to this page. I am Sarah Yuban and I welcome you. Vic is going to be your host. He is the creator of the challenge, for instance. And your converting rate will be much higher if you follow this flow through your landing page from the advertising to the, uh, to the product page. I'll see you tomorrow, and then we're going to go to ClickFunnels. See you then. Bye-bye for now.